how far has government progressed with this important project? We made tremendous progress. As you know, we had to um, we had to relocate a number of families. We have built homes for them. Um, from all reports, they they were very happy with the homes. Uh, there were one or two improvements we had to make, and those are those are being made and have been made. Um, you know, people are very happy with the homes, the quality of the homes. Um, both the homes that we built for for the residents here and those they built on their own are really beautiful homes um, that they built, and, and people are happy about this. Uh, we continue to make lands available to the farmers um, so they can continue to to to, to plant and, and and to grow food. Insofar as the airport is concerned, uh, as you know, we entered in an agreement with a developer, MMC, on the Citizenship by Investment Program. And, and just I know when people heard about the signing of a, of a construction uh, contract, contract with um, if, uh, China Railway 5, CR5, people were a bit confused. Now, as we've explained, um, this international airport is being done in partnership with MMC as a developer. Um, it is it is MMC that will enter into a contract with the contractor because the the risk and the liabilities are with MMC and not the Treasury of Dominica because we have no sovereign guarantee on this on on, on this contract. Um, it is MMC that has to raise the funds utilizing the CBI pro, um, pro, um, program uh, to finance the construction of the airport and and this is one of the uh, uh, most amazing ways that we have been able to 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 advance our project or the construction of the most transformational project I will see in Dominica's history and and not have any direct impact on the treasury of Dominica so that current and future generations don't have to pay for a multi-million dollar um, project or more than a billion dollar project we don't have to pay anything back in terms of loans or commitments to, to anybody and, and, and so this is what happened where there was a final signing of the construction contract between CR5 and MMC. And so and it's no different from how we do the housing. Um, we, have a commit, we have a relationship a agreement with MMC, but they're the ones who raise the funds and they're the ones who enter into contracts. And so the liabilities are theirs. Um, CR5 has been mobilized. They have been in Dominica for the last um, eight months or so. Um, dealing with um, the various aspects of of, um, of, of local um, construction material, engaging various service providers, um, and and so later this year you will see massive mobilization taking place, um, and you you will certainly see some earth movement towards the end of this year, but certainly in the first quarter of 2023, you you will you, you will see serious earth movement in um in on the site and the. It is expected that the international airport will be constructed, will, be, will, will come to completion at the, towards the end of 2026. And um, we have made some improvements to the master plan. We've made some changes to the designs of the terminal building. And it will be a, an international airport that you will see nowhere in the Caribbean. Um, it, will be, it will be a masterpiece. Um, it will be attractive. I mean, um, you, you're talking about um, the, the, in terms of the architectural design. We we're making a lot of facilities and amenities available at the airport. So, so Dion, if you're traveling and you have a long wait at the airport, we're making provisions where you could get a massage while you mm. wait for the flight. <laughs> we're making provisions where you could get your 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 pedicure and a manicure at the at the airport. Um, you could get a haircut or you can get your hair. I'm um, colored or or, or, yeah. or I'll go or, for the color or, or, um, or, or what have you. Um, braided if you if you're waiting. There'll be several restaurants and opportunities for people, to, small business to to have to showcase their their, their items for sale. Um, we'll have um, VIP lounges for business travelers and also um, um, FBOs and so forth. Um, massive customs building residences for the customs officers too. Um, the some changes have been made to the um, fire service based on the recommendations of the our fire chief. Um, so, they, so we've taken a number of things. That there'll, there'll be a health center on site, you know, and this was this came up about because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. where we had to create facilities at the Douglas Charles to respond. So we put in a, a health facility on the airport in the event that we are faced with a similar uh, matter like that. Or there's, there's an incident at the airport and that you have to provide. 
um, some services um, while you transport the patient to to the hospitals. So it, 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 it will unveil very soon the, 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 the finalized master plan and the designs to the country. But it, it is going to be an amazing um, project, which we believe is going to help transform Dominic in terms of the agriculture, in terms of um, of, of tourism and the creation of, of sustainable jobs for people, better paying jobs for our young people. You know, um, this is where we, we, we advance in and it, it's a major national project and, and I'm so happy that the Lord has blessed us with this opportunity uh, to finally be on our way um, to achieving something that has that appeared to be to have been so elusive um, for so many decades in our country and, and, um, and we're very grateful to the Lord for that.